now to this video game so horrifying it has been banned in Great Britain. It is now set to be released here in the U.S. on Halloween. It is called Manhunt 2, and we must warn you there is nothing about this that is not disturbing. Manhunt 2 allows gamers to take on the role of a mental institution escapee who goes on a killing rampage. Not just that, but when you play this game on Wii, as opposed to uh, Nintendo or PlayStation, you actually do the stabbing. So you grab the knife, you are over your victim, plunging the knife into the victim uh, as you play the game. Now the U.S. version is slightly less violent than the original that was banned, but if Great Britain found the toned down game unacceptable, how concerned do parents here need to be? Joining me now is Ted Baer of the Christian Film and Television Commission. Ted, um, there is a very big industry for this type of game. They say, hey, if people want it, we're going to provide it. Uh, but many family groups here are outraged. Should they be? They should be outraged because a certain number of children, not all children and not all teenagers who play the game, will be susceptible to it. But a significant proportion, those that are susceptible to violence, especially when they're in those teenage years or childhood years that they're more inclined to copy the behavior, to build the scripts of behavior, that becomes their scripts of behavior for later life. So it's extremely dangerous and it's hard to identify who's going to turn out to be uh, the Michael Cho or the Columbine, one of the people that's going to be just pushed over the edge by a game like this. The more direct it is in terms of providing, just as you intimated in your introduction, uh, the, the uh, actual event of killing, the more likely it is to become a script of behavior. And we know from all the studies yeah. at University of Santa Barbara that what you've got to do is when you have malicious behavior, you've got to refute it immediately. Right, you shouldn't be Otherwise, practicing it and encouraging it in a video right. game. But you know, the, the manufacturer says, look, this has been given this rating. You should not be able to buy it or play it if you're under age 17. Um, are you, do you believe that will work? It never works. Uh, in fact, that's just like a blinking red light saying, come and get it. You know, we knew that uh, uh, a while back in terms of uh, theatrical movies, that uh, movies that had the NC-17 or whatever were, were magnets. So, uh, you know, under the Clinton administration, the previous administration, there was an effort to say, we're going to card people, movie theaters, right. not going to let people in. Right, it doesn't work You've out well. To, let me, let me so just rush it on because I want, I want to ask you something. The, the, that, those full screens we had with the guy with the axe over his head and with the hammer oh, over his head, awful. just again so our viewers know, you, th there will be kids playing this game. They will have the axe. They will be holding the axe and bringing it down on their victim. That's how this will work when, when played on Wii. Let me tell you what the, what the manufacturer, Rockstar Games, says about this. <laughs> uh, so we've got them on record. The Rockstar team has come up with a game that fits squarely within the horror genre and was intended to do so. It brings a unique, formerly unheard of cinematic quality to interactive entertainment and is also a fine piece of art. Their view is, hey, this may be creepy, it may be scary, but it's no different than a really creepy, scary horror flick and people should have the right to go and use it if they want. This is not only ridiculous, but it's just abhorrent. If a person had a propensity toward uh, heroin use, let's say, do you give the child heroin? If they have a propensity to some other uh, behavioral uh, problem, do you give them the problem? Do you give them the knife uh, if they have a propensity to violence? This is absolutely absurd. And the manufacturer, I'm sure, is saying this, uh, hoping that he's going to be carrying money all the way to the bank by exploiting uh, the worst tendencies in society. Yeah, well, it's, it gets released on Halloween, perhaps.